Well, uh, just another talk about stress-free productivity, just another talk about getting things done. Uh, but I want to introduce or I want to show you a couple of things why does um, getting things done works. And then I want to show you a couple of things that I use for using uh, getting things done. Yeah. Uh, it works. Uh, well, our brain is quite good in processing information and it is quite good in resolving conflicts between a situation and our goals. It quite often results in action in our environment. So therefore we have quite often a feedback again to our brain, brain uh, and if we achieve some small goals and get a fast feedback, we call that so uh, as a flow. We are quite comfortable in a flow, we like that, we lose uh, control of time, but the first thing is to have a context switch. Context is also a really important thing to have. In a context you have things together, you can feel in a flow, but it also is, is triggered by small things like you can have a button in your handkerchief to remember to something in the evening or even you can have a better thing like an extended brain, brain, yeah. extended brain a trusted medium like a PDA or a, a smartphone where you can note your, your triggers or notes about everything and have them together in one context. So it is a common thing to have something like uh, influence to your environment, set triggers over there, and it's also quite common for ants like who do that to uh, mark their ways to, to source of, of food, or even agile workers like to have their context and even have their triggers on the wall and see, okay, that depends to there, or to reduce their work in progress to have only one context. Yeah, that's my briefing <laughs> slides to brief down before we meet David. We want to now show or have a look how does it fits to David, uh, David's uh, idea of getting things done. Are you ready? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, uh, getting things done means release your brain by outsourcing most of the things you, you get to a trusted medium plan the next steps and then create context lists and then you can go to one of these lists to work on it. So we can see it on a flow diagram, yes, that you can uh, collect all our, your stuff, do it in a box and then figure out what it is multi times over a day. Uh, then decide, is it something that you have to store, is it something that you have, can trash, or if it's something that needs multiple steps, like project, then bring it to a context like a planning context. Or is it something that you can act quite directly, then decide, does it need less than two minutes, then just do it. Or is it possible to delegate to someone, uh, write it on a list, delegate it. Or if it's something that you can use by yourself, yeah, uh, then bring it to a folder, like a context folder, like a list, a tray, where you have a context, or even in a calendar. Bring it on a context and then switch to this folder, open it and work on the stuff which is inside. Don't go, don't switch from one context to the other, just stay there, stay there. So how does it work for me to stay, to be in a flow, like on a mountain bike or even uh, be in a flow during work? Sometimes it does not work, you sometimes uh, get a flat tire as well. I want to present you a couple of uh, things that work for me. Remember the milk is one of that. You can write down your thing to do, add some tags, and then it goes to one of your folders. These are folders for me, context. I work here at home, I work here at work. And you, you get it, you can also uh, add stuff during your trip. Every note is something quite equal. I use it for referencing stuff like uh, a book or PDFs or a couple of notes. It's helpful and you also can have it on a smartphone yeah. uh, to, to collect these things. And it's always synchronized on the web. 
Something that is quite religious is inbox zero. Uh, you have to clean your inbox multiple times a day. Your inbox is just a triage, so it has to be empty. And you have to move your things to folders. So, delegate, delete, respond, defer, or do. So, it looks like... Next slide. Wow, nice to have this empty inbox. But then you need a couple of, of uh, contexts. Something like to do, something writing for, but these are the important things. Uh, my project blogging, my project Petakutcha, my project Ski Club web page. So I go inside of one of these contexts and then work on it. This one, uh, it is really bad to have uh, tools like this. You have to close it, you have to go back to work, you have to stay in flow. With Twitter, that's not possible. It always uh, Twitter is something new and you, you lose your context, you switch your, your, your flow, it's a really bad thing. Also, a uh, communicator. On one side it's really bad, but on the other side you can use it if you take care of your flow. To write someone a ping and say, need your flex knowledge, and I can write back and say, okay, in 20 minutes, but not now, I'm now in a flow. So, if you decide well, then you can use such tool for a good thing. So my conclusions are, uh, take really care of your flow. Uh, guard your attention, uh, don't disturb others uh, in their attentions and yeah, create proper context. It's important. One yeah. So how does you feel stress-free? Uh, go to YouTube and have a look on Inbox Zero, that's quite a good video. Try something new, try to Build your context and work on it and stay on the floor. That's the end of my talk.